Hey, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, Jim's here, and we are playing on the Hermitcraft Mod Sauce 2 server. That's right, that's right. Um, today we are. Don't really have any plans, um, but we're gonna work on these challenges. I got the little area set up where I'm gonna put each of the, um, well, the four basic elements, the runes. Uh, so we're gonna work on that. But first, let's see here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just want to make sure that we. Uh, Refill the pure daisy thingamajigger that's making living rock. Oh no, pure daisy, yes. Oh yes, okay, so I just did a rotation, so perfect time to fill it up with some more. Do -do 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 -do. And out of here. And we're fu Chicken poop. I'm just curious. Poop. What uses do you actually have? We can make a block of poop. And we can make fertilizer. Can we use a block of poop for anything? Nope, just to store poop. Fertilizer, is that used to make fertilized soil? Interesting. It actually requires bat poop. Nice. Bat poop and normal poop. Lots of poop. Poopy. Is there a way to chicken core update? Yes, inventory twink configuration. Aroma 1997 core is outdated. Is there a way to turn that notification off? That's kind of annoying. Alright. Take that with us. And through the portal. So I went ahead and did this just like a normal hex shaped, sort of octagon shaped pattern as opposed to the, uh, the one that the open block wanted to do. And I'm trying to figure out where to actually place those. And I know there's a way to do this, but it's been so long since I got my math major that I cannot remember how I can figure this out. So basically I have a sphere, right? Or ellipsoid. And I'm going to go the distance from here to here, but stop halfway. Which I think is going to be around that, but that's just an estimate. And I'd like to use math to determine the correct location. Um, so I tried a few things. I tried like uh, if I had like had it as a square kind of and then straight shot to the middle and that's where it would hit but it's as you can see it's closer here than it is over here so that's not right and also tried like uh, splitting in half a couple times and it's just determining the length without counting the actual I guess I, I guess I could count the blocks that it traverses and then go over that many Actually, it shouldn't be that hard to do. Yeah. Mess with that later. Um, let's go ahead and turn off that ellipsoid cylinder, whatever. So this is where we're going to do water, earth, air, and fire. Now let's just do a quick search for the runes, and let's pick one, and we'll work on it today. Naturally, the first one is water, so let's see what we can do to get water going. Uh, step one, 
lots of mana still. So all of these runes are going to require a whole lot of mana still. Um, to get mana still, we're going to have to somehow figure out how to... How to... Golem farm. Yes, that's what it is. We have to... How to golem farm. Let's ask Google. Google. How to golem farm. Tutorials on Gamepedia.com Let's hope it's not... Oh, it's videos. Oh, it's all videos. Uh, oh, nope. Here we go. There's your base. There's that. There's that. Uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. And a grinder. But where do you put all the... Okay, so on the very top. Okay. Now, what keeps the villagers from falling down there, though? I'll have to take a closer look. zero resources you need at least a lot of cobblestone okay 64 doors all right that's not not a problem 18 water buckets one lava bucket four signs and probably not the best design but we'll go with what they've got right here because yeah should be simple enough We're not going to use the living rock for it either. It's going to be... Put that in another chest. We'll do materials. Get that one back. Actually, we'll put the one in here for now. <sighs> do we want to do this in dirt or cobblestone? The guide says to use cobblestone, so I guess we might do that. Do we just build it straight up on the top of this? Because it's it's a big thing, you know. It's going to take a little bit of room. See a main ST guy? I'll see you when you get back then. Uh, we could probably go off like Earth. Yeah, Earth's probably a good side to go from. And where's the midpoint? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. Um, and we're just going to magnum torch this area too so we don't accidentally get some we don't want any um, bad guys spawning Choose a good location. Don't build it far from your main base because you want golems to spawn even when you're not at the farm. I did suppose on top of your existing home. Okay, so we'll have it chunk loaded, so it's not like that's really going to be a big issue. Alright, go out make a 4x4 hole with a little something at the bottom. Okay, make sure it's 10 tall blocks. Yep, 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 yep. Build each corner. Okay. This this should be simple enough. <laughs> What's with the Make sure there are at least ten villagers all together. So I need to be okay. So platform area is going to be about twenty by twenty, a little bit of overhang. So let's see here. Do we really want to build it here, though? I'm thinking it's definitely going to be 
better pals towards the inside area. Yes, I am making an iron golem farm. And from the looks of it, it's going to be ugh, even. Even Stevens. So that's not going to fit in the grand scheme of the design of things. I think we'll do it right here. Seriously, right here? I think that. I think we should do it right there. Uh, to there or over here? Let's do it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, ten. What's up, El Capitan George? I'm just going to go with the even design that they've got posted on this Gamepedia Pedia wiki. Do that. Uh, ten blocks tall. Break a two by three so the golems will be able to go through. We'll do that later. Uh, build out seven blocks from the top of this tower. Okay, to form eighteen by so eighteen by eighteen platform with a two by two hole in the middle. There's four, right? You know what would be really awesome? If this builder's wand actually worked with the Rod of the Depths. Alright, so anyway. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, that's what it said too. I guess I could grab like some cobblestone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'd be able to use the builder's wand, but you know, it's not gonna take too long. Just a minute or two to get all this platform set up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. going to be like the base platform and then on top of this we're going to build a little area for the golems to spawn in. I guess that's going to be how it works. any more sheep go missing since last stream either. We had to grab that uh, 
Well, he blue sheep that got out somehow. It's like they're escapists. They have mastered the art of escaping. Alright, so we got that. Uh, next build, four blocks in each corner. Uh, da -da 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 -da, diagonal, three blocks. There we go. Build in four blocks from each corner. Like that? Yeah, I guess that's what they're talking about. And then go diagonal from it, like that. four blocks from each corner and then three blocks diagonal in both directions to build a triangle one two three four five six seven so the edge should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. okay hey what's up shiny boy nine thousand one all right next build a one block high platform so now it's 20 by what? Uh, next build a one block wide platform around this so it will be 20 by 20 Oh, okay. Sure. Sure, why not? Extend it out by one more. Something like this. Building, going far, gonna make some iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll have to figure out how to make a uh, like gold farm after this. And then a witch farm. I don't know if I can make a witch farm in here. Because <laughs> it's kind of the void. Okay. Next we add some... very specific windows to this area. Actually, let's look at this other image first. Hold on. Da -da -da. Looks like... Here, here, and the edges. One, two, three, four. Great. And we'll go up with that too. Hmm, I wonder 
how we're gonna make like a diamond farm too. Uh, I guess that's gonna require Mr. Orchid, right? Because <sighs> there's not really any vanilla way to spawn in diamonds without an orchid is there. Because we need that for the uh, higher up uh, ruins that we get into. Okay, so there's that. I am working on a golem farm. Shawnee boy. Does the pack of reliquary? No, I don't think so. Nope. Alright, so next, seal off the windows. Okay. And build some small cups to hold villagers. They should be 4x4 four four on the outside. So there is 2x2x3 two by two by over our inside. Make sure there are at least 10 villagers all together. Alright, so I guess we seal off these little areas. These are the windows that they were randomly referring to. And this is where we're going to have the doors at. I guess. Got lit up. Okay. Let's break a little in pieces on those. Keep it nice and neat. Got like a little guessing it goes down to here. That's what it looks like. Then three, four. Uh, looks like it might be a little smaller than that. Two by two by three. Three, so three being the height. Take a look at this really quick. Okay, so it looks like they do seal it off. So one, two, three, four. I just go ahead and uh, leave that because there's going to be. And then seal this off. And then make a little area that's like that for the villagers. Two by two by tree. Alright, so this is where the villagers are going to be at, I guess. Just chilling in there. And we'll do the same thing over here. Seal that off. Okay, yeah, I guess that is okay. 
Uh, -da -da. Just trying to make it, you know, to spec like the design shows on this whatever page I'm looking at. Needs to be, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, whatever. Didn't say gold. I said iron. Also said I was thinking about gold, but that would be something entirely different. All right. So that's the. Now we need to place doors against the. And dense. So let's see here. I think we got some wood down here. Yep. And we got our crafting halo. So we'll go ahead and do this. Make lots of doors. Oh, but actually, I think that's too many. So from the look of it, let's see. Are these? They're indented, so let's see here. Like that. Nope. They actually show it the other way around, so like this. Maybe that's so stuff doesn't get like the golems don't get caught within them or something? I don't know. Villagers like doors, it keeps them happy. And golems need doors to think it's a village, so that's why we're placing doors right now. I believe that's how it works. Some silly mechanics in Minecraft, I don't even I don't even know, man. You know? Doors are at the center of the spawning of the golems. Interesting. Okay. Uh, then place down one water in each of the four villagers and two water in the raised triangles in this pattern. Okay. So let's get our water. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Is in terms of like where the water goes in here, just as long as there's water in here. Oh, miss. Okay. And then. Okay, looks like it's. Wait, what? the looks of it they have water like that okay uh, 
And then here. Huh, okay. That's that's very nice. Venice did. Alright, so that will flow all the golems into there. And the next thing is to <sighs> kill chamber. Okay. Which way are we gonna go with the kill chamber? Probably either that way or that way. I'll go this way with it. So what do we have here? Just a little area where it's build four blocks out from the bottom of the tower, three blocks up on each side. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, looks like they got this at the end too. Um. All right, they go out one more, so we'll go out one more too. Next, place four signs, shape to hold the lava. Oh. All right, so we need some signs. I'm not sure if we have any here. We might. Oh, we do. Sweet, sweet signs. Alright, so it shows like right here. And here. Up here. And over there. And then they have, of course, some water over here. What? How did you? <clears throat> lasso. Where's the lasso? Oh my god, don't tell me I don't have a lasso on me. I don't have a lasso on me. <sighs> like, how does he get up, you know? Freaking animals, man. Bugging through walls and stuff. Not okay. Not okay at all. Now where'd he go? Here, sheepy sheepy. Let's do a quick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Definitely missing one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Where did you go, Mr. Sheep? There you are. How do you get out? Hmm? What what manner of force are they using to escape? I guess they will power themselves on. All right. So anyway, there's that. Uh, next, it says to put down two hoppers into a chest for automatic item collection. We'll do it that way. Two hoppers and two chests. didn't flow down and break anything. Nope, I think we're okay. Alright, so then we just need we have lava. We do not. Let's go get some lava. Oh wait, 
We got a bucket. There we go. Yoink. And pretty sure golden lasses don't work on villagers, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do to get 10 villagers in here. Basically put the lava here. Then we fill these up with villagers. And we should be good to go. So I know there's barry nets will do it. And they take Gas tiers and ender pearls. Let's do that, I guess. Do, 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 do. Gas tiers three. Uh, two. Fire nets basically let you capture pretty much anything. And let's see, we'll go ahead and grab our warp book and an unbound warp page so we can teleport back and forth. I'm thinking we had, yep, there was a village out at the Redwood Forest, so we'll head on out there. So that'll be part one, which is going to be the iron needed. Next, we're going to need a couple other materials. Uh, we'll have to get a sugarcane farm going. Uh, we'll have to get a string farm going, which means we'll have to grab a spider spawner. And we'll have to get a standard tree farm going as well. Damn it. I have not had good experience with tree farms in just botania stuff. So I'm gonna have to mess around with that one a little bit. Let's see if there's maybe a better way to have an automatic tree farm going. Probably doesn't help that it's nighttime right now either. You know, for the villagers' sake. I hope they're still alive. So here's the redwood forest, and then this way, I believe, found a desert village. But it's super weird, it's like so dark at night. Is there a villager still in there? There is. Hey, there's two villagers in there. Nope, you guys can't get out. Nope, indeed. Okay, what we'll do is we'll... Hey, rude. Uh, village. And we will add that to here. Boop. Whoa. They took away the, uh... The need for ender pearls in the uh, workbook. That's crazy. And. Void base. Alright, so now I just place villagers in here. Let's see what kind of trades we got with this guy, too. Hey, what's up? Merchant. Oh. 
So he's gonna take gold coins and give me experience. What about you, Mr. Farmer? You're gonna take an emerald and give me chicken. Yeah, no thanks. Back to the village. It takes away from your hunger? Really? Meh. Is there anyone inside here? Nope. What about in here? Really? Anyone in here? Yeah, I see someone in here. What's up, buddy? I got you. Don't worry. What kind of a building is this anyway? Oh, this is one of those aura thingamajiggers I know nothing about. Hold on. Oh, there's a bunch of villagers in here. What's up, guys? You're all going to come with me. God, fill me in. How do you? How does one do this ghast farm? All right, let's check out these guys' trades. Cow torso. You crazy? Cow. You guys are both crazy. Farmers and they want cow bits. Wow. All right, back to the village. Yeah, so, about the whole hunger thing, oh, chicken arm, huh? You're coming with me, and you're coming with me. See how I have, like, half left? These mana cookies are mana amazing. Alright, back to the wood base. Like, they fill me up and all my saturation as well, so it's pretty cool. Uh, put you there, and you there. Uh, ooh, a butcher. He wants to give me some steak. Oh. Looks like they were happy, too. I saw the little hearts going. Happy villagers. So that's, that was it for all the guys in this building, right? Yep. Let's see, do we have anyone in here? Oh. Quicksand. Why would you have quicksand outside of your house? Oh, yes we do. What's up, guys? Uh, yeah, I'd rather they not get into the quicksand either, so we're going to... Come at these guys from the roof, I believe. Back to the quick base. Butcher. Ooh, another cap, okay. The villager wants chicken. Interesting. And back to the village. So that's what? Eight. Said we need minimum of twelve. So we might get twelve out of this village, which would be nice. Yep. And anyone in here? Nope. What about what about in here? Oh, I hear some people. I, I hear people moving. We got a... A tinkerer. <laughs> What's up, buddy? You want uh, you want some jungle barricades? Is that what you got? Alright, what else do we have in here? Full guard pattern. Yoink. I was actually looking for that. And we still need two more villagers. Anyone in here? Oh, hey, there's another tinker. He wants a landmine and 
punji sticks and he'll give iron sweet berries. How sweet. Anything of use? Eh, stone pan, cactus hand, slam shovel head. Alright, back to the void base. Place them like cocoa beans on obsidian. Say what now? One, two, three, four, ten. Just gotta find two more. So it's probably that, that's, I'm guessing you're mentioning like Ganny's surface or something like that that has that ability. Yep, hi, got you. villagers so well, at least it's at 11. Let's go for just a little exploration. Oh place the gasters yeah so it's definitely got to be um, some special mod that does that. Probably Ganny surface or something like that. I'm trying to stick to to vanilla-esque stuff and Batania stuff unless I have to stray away to get certain things have I been to this area before? nope alright so planes and oh yeah hello village scientists no, you get out of that poop. Another the aura stuff. Anything in here? Nope. That's a tiny village. Alright, back to Void Base. Uh Jotato has a really nice nether star farm as well, I believe. Alright, so here. And one more over here. All right, that's twelve. Let's see here. I think that's what it said is twelve. Yep. So it says make sure there are three villagers in each of the holding cups. I hope I got them at the right height. They're actually. I think could be one lower than what they're supposed to be. Oh, there's our first customer. <laughs> Give me some money. Yeah. Oh geez, we're gonna get a lot of a lot of garbage bits too. Great. <sighs> the disadvantages of modded. Yes, there are disadvantages to it. Alright, so that should crank us out a little bit of iron though. And yeah, it looks looks okay. We'll get it more fancified later. No, it's just serving a purpose. Oh, 
Throw it that too. What else? Iron bars. <laughs> Put our warp book in the bucket. Building material. Boop. I guess we picked up some purple wool. 